got here is an example what I can use this welder for. 120 amps. I'm gonna weld this fat by iron to a slice of square uh, tube by bolted to this uh, piece of wood from some fence, temporary repair. Hammer down the fat square and I'm gonna weld this together. It is windy today. It's very windy today. But it doesn't matter what the flux can call. Why? I don't care. See if I can uh, weld the. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Vertical welding? I think it's 120 amps on this one. I'll try. Okay, let's give it a shot. The breakers is uh, only uh, 10 up on pairs to see if I can keep on going while I'm welding. It's only uh, 120 amps, so let's hope it's good. Burned. If you're close to the, the nozzle, you have to have half an inch from the nozzle. I forget that the whole time when you when in flux core. connection that's difficult to film that it's okay for that purpose so this was the real life test hobby working and the breaker did not uh, fuck up but if it's uh, over 150 amperes, it will it will snap. I know. Try that to work. So it's okay. It's only temporary. I'm gonna make some other fence another day. So this is good. Yeah. So our captain, 200 amps. Mick Welder has done the test for this time, and the windy environment. So that's really nice. That's exactly the purpose I bought this welder. To do a rough stuff like this in the garden. 
So, uh, I'm out of here, guys. Bye.